So I'm about to go off on my second objective for the week, the interview. I'm a bit nervous, I haven't prepared as well as I should have maybe. Uh, hopefully it's gonna go well. I did prepare a whole lot to interviews a couple of months ago. Wouldn't have hurt to revise the questions. Just had the interview, it was, went really well. I just tell, told myself, okay, I'm just gonna answer honestly on everything, but in a positive manner, and just went great. Fun, I, I made the interaction fun, tried to have an easiness to the conversation. Three high stake meetings and a job interview is sure as heck gonna classify as one of those. I didn't prepare barely anything at all actually. You should always prepare yourself. That's unless you don't have that confidence and you know how to act beforehand, then you need to create a situation where you are confident. You know how to talk and answer questions and basic settings with which there are loads of good videos and material out there. I was uh, taking it a little bit too easy. And this morning I started to think about it and realized, wait a second. But as it turned out, I managed to keep my, my stress levels down. I had a really, really nice uh, approach to the whole thing. I was very easy going. I didn't get nervous during the interview. I, would, I managed to joke around. I just went in with the approach that no, I refuse to let the stress take over. I can do this. I know myself. I did however, when I got the question, tell me a little bit about yourself. I didn't really know exactly how to approach it. So that answer wasn't perfect. You should have a clear plan for how to structure the story you're gonna tell. If you, someone asks you, tell me a little bit about, little bit about yourself. There is a story you're about to deliver there. And you should, from start, have this this map clear. Okay, I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna end here. And maybe it's a highlight in the middle. So you have a plan for how to go about it. Lesson to be learned is always, always, always prepare yourself before going into a high stake uh, meeting like this. That goes for the date and uh, interview or social interaction with the group. If you know you're, in this case, you know you're gonna have a lot of questions about how how you are doing in a work situation, how, how you're doing in team works and such, then you should be prepared for answering those kinds of questions. And the same goes with this the, the date, you know sort of kind of what is gonna be addressed. Read up on what kind of uh, questions that are good to ask or as we have been talking about how to connect with people searching for uh, conversational topics that can fuel the conversation up the key takeaway message is that always prepare yourself prepare 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 it was a good uh, learning a good process uh, I'm practicing the ability to have a casual conversation with people even though it's uh, in a high stake environment. It was about my future, if I'm gonna work there or not. Of course, that's really high stake. People hire people. Sure, competence uh, is a factor in this, but they're still gonna work with you. That, that ability to connect with people is so important. And getting an interview is not that easy, so maybe you can do two, two dates and something else instead, or just if you have a new social friend group that you have been introduced to maybe you can find a situation where you can get to hang out with these people to practice this high stakes social meeting second objective for this week is over so it's been a couple of hours since I last spoke to you and what I realized things keep processing after you've done things like this when it's high stake it means it means something to you the outcome of what you have been through touched you as a person is something that that moves you. Whether it's in a date situation and you 
maybe you want to see this person again or maybe you don't want to see this person again but you felt that you maybe grew as a person because you experienced new things in this conversation. What I'm trying to say here is that you go around and you analyze things. At least that is how it is for me. Like now doing my workout I was trying to focus on that but all of the time I was thrown back to the interview thinking about how I acted and oh maybe I should have said that in that way instead. You can use that material in such a more useful way by actually just grab a pen and paper or I prefer the computer because then I can really type fast but just write out everything that you have on your mind. <laughs> you extract the data and you put it on, in some other spot which means you you can you can get closure and just free writing the stuff that you have in your head is such a good way to not only to get rid of it but to analyze it when you put it in writing it becomes real you can look at it in an objective and then you can actually reply in the writing okay I did this da 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 maybe it would have been better if I instead tweaked the answer of my question and focused on these areas and such so I'm just telling you that that is a really good thing to do after you've been through the, the event. To go through it, process it, analyze it and see how you can improve. And that is what I'm gonna do.